Hello and welcome to another episode of Reno Ready DIY. We just finished our basement and it is full of DIY projects. If you haven't already, go check out our episode of Reno Ready. In the episode, we go over all of the projects that we're going to show you in the future. So when doing our basement, we had a budget. We had to keep things as cheap as possible. I really liked the idea of having a bar down here, so everything had to be DIY. While doing some research, I realized bar sinks were super expensive. When I was at a store looking at the different sinks, I was looking at a round bar sink and I pretended it was a salad bowl. That's when I got the idea. Could I use a salad bowl to make a bar sink? Well, you are about to find out. Here's what you'll need. A sink drain, a caulking gun, a drill, a metal drill bit, channel locks, tin snips, some wood blocks to protect your table, silicone, a tape measure, some plumber's putty, a marker, and of course a salad bowl. So first thing you're going to do is find the center of your salad bowl and make a little mark. Now drill a small pilot hole. Now get your drain and take it apart. Take the top bit that's going to go through the hole and put it on top of the hole that you just drilled. I used the cross pattern on mine to find the exact center. Now trace your drain. You want to try to cut the hole as close to the size of the threaded part of your drain as possible. Now get your tin snips and start to cut your hole. If you have a hole saw the same size as the drain, then use that. It's probably a lot easier. Now once you've cut out your piece, make sure you cut off all of the sharp edges and anything that sticks up. Use the channel locks to press anything down if you can't cut it off. Now using the plumber's putty, make a little snake. Now wrap that snake around the top of your drain. Now you can put that top piece of your drain in place. Next put the rubber gasket to hold that bit in place. Now screw the long piece of the drain onto it and make it nice and tight. You need to ensure it's watertight, so make sure you screw it very, very tight. And there you go, now you have a sink. Now let's go install it. So once you find the location you want to install the sink, you're going to trace out the sink and cut the hole. Tracing the sink onto your countertop can be different if the sink is going to go on top of the counter or if it's going underneath. In my bar, I wanted an undermounted sink. I did the hole slightly smaller than the diameter of the sink. This gave the countertop a bit of an overhang. Start by putting a bead of silicone around the top of the sink. Now put it under the countertop and make sure it's nice and even. To hold it in place, I used a few screws. If you don't want to use screws, wedge some wood underneath to hold it until it's dry. Now let the silicone dry for at least 12 hours. Next, install all of the plumbing. I'm not going to explain how to do the plumbing in this video because everybody's plumbing is different. If you're not comfortable doing the plumbing, then call a plumber. Now that the sink is in, install the faucet and test it out. I think this whole project cost me under $20, which is absolutely insane. And there you go, a bar sink for super cheap. If you enjoyed the video, like and comment below. If you have any questions or have an idea for a future project, let us know. You may be wondering if the bar countertop was also a DIY project, and the answer is yes. If you want to see how to make that, click subscribe. There's going to be a future video on a DIY butcher block countertop. Thank you so much for watching, and more videos will be coming soon.